What's up guys, my name is Ace, and I've been hard at work doing the testing for the brand new guns, the ASVAL, as well as the SPR-208 for my gun guide series. And in my testing, I found something that is completely broken and worthy of its own video. So that's what I'm going to be doing in today's video. This is talking about what I think is a pretty serious bug with the ASVAL using the 10 round magazines, so the SPP rounds. Now with this, when you read through the description of these rounds, it says they are armor piercing and they're designed for increased penetration. So of course, I was doing some tests to see how good it is at shooting through walls. Like, is it basically like a built-in FMJ? And it turns out it is way more than that. So I'm just gonna show you guys some of the testing I did in a custom match here. Keep in mind with this setup that I'm using, I'm not using FMJ. I'm only using these 10 round mags as far as something that would affect the penetration goes. And I have the health value set at a standard 100 health here. So it's not like I reduced the health value to get these crazy kills. Just watch what I'm able to do with these SPP rounds. It appears they've actually got this coded to the point where you just don't lose damage through surfaces. Or you lose very, very little damage through surfaces. Even entire buildings you can shoot through like it's paper. I can shoot through the entire map as long as I'm able to get that accurate shot off. I can get hit markers and still deal an amazing amount of damage through that. And this, combined with a snapshot grenade, is definitely going to make for some interesting gameplay until they get on top of this. I'm sorry to all the search and destroy players out there, I think things are about to get a little bit crazy there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you throw these rounds on, cover is now just concealment for your enemy players because you can shoot through it like it's butter. And again, like I said, you don't even need to use FMJ with this. It's still going to be maintaining this ridiculous damage through surfaces. Now, it seems pretty clear to me that while they did mean to boost the penetration values of these rounds, I don't think they're supposed to be this powerful. So I do anticipate this will get fixed at some point, hopefully in the near future. Because this is going to be a little ridiculous. I guess at the same time, though, you could say this is somewhat kept in check because it's not like an LMG where you can just spray wildly through a wall till you get a hit marker and then continue spraying where you got the hit marker. You only get 10 rounds. It's semi-automatic and it doesn't really leave that much room for spraying like crazy. But if you get an enemy player that's sitting relatively still and you manage to tag them with a snapshot grenade, they don't stand a chance against you with this particular setup. And with that, that's pretty much it. That's going to wrap it up for today's really quick video. I just wanted to share the fact that this is possible with this gun. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to have some fun with this while it lasts. Hopefully they manage to get on top of it soon though. And yes, tomorrow's video will most likely be the gun guide for the ASVAL. I just needed a bit more time so I couldn't get it all wrapped up for today. But hope you guys are looking forward to that one. Of course, I'd like to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What do you guys think about this particular bug? Do you think it is a bug and was completely unintended? Or do you think they actually want this to be that powerful through walls? Just let me know those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.